Hi, this is Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, and I am doing a mid-January reading for the sign of Capricorn. Uh, please keep in mind that these are general readings, so just take what applies to you and leave the rest. Um, let's begin. I usually do a Celtic cross, and I use the Gilded Tarot. which are very, very pretty. And I clarify with one of my favorite decks is the Medieval Cat Tarot. Absolutely love them. All right, so I pre-shuffled. I asked my spirit guides to come in and give me the most messages for the sign of Capricorn. And that's where we're going to begin. Hmm. First, I'm just going to tell you the first three cards of Major Arcana. Hmm. That hasn't happened in a while. Quite a few people going on around here. All right, caps. And there's a person on the bottom. So, uh, online theme on the bottom of the deck, we have the page of cups. Pages of messages. Cups are emotion. So, uh, emotional offer being made to you. Capricorn, or you making one to someone else. And this is usually, pages are young. They're uh, inexperienced. But they're very thoughtful. They're very um, emotional. Not as well grounded in controlling their emotions as uh, the king and the queen and possibly even the knight. Except this is just the beginning of it, this stuff, so. But regardless, it's just a message, an emotional message. So we're going to start off, Cappies, with you being the strength card. Nice. And it's an upright. So this woman that has this lion by her side and there's a chain around his neck. She's not jerking on this lion. She's not making this lion do anything. But by being gentle and being very connected to the lion, that the lion chooses to be with her. Taming the beast inside you. Having inner strength. And this is you, Capricorn. And what crosses you, which is going to help you or hinder you, is death. Now I know, I know, death is always it's like this spooky card or whatever. But you know what? I love the death card. Because it means transformation. And any time that you see this card, it's calling for a change. Now let's see what that brings. Because right in your foundation, and again, this is the third major account, so Capricorn, this is going to be a serious message for you. Okay, your foundation is judgment. Hearing the call, 
rising up from the ashes. And death is calling for you to do this. Maybe it's you that's supposed to use the strength to rise up from the ashes, transform yourself. And it kind of makes sense because your crowning card is the Eight of Swords. And this is being stuck in your mind, stuck in your thoughts. You can easily get through those swords. You're not bound by chains. It actually looks like cloth or something so light that you could just get yourself free from. But you choose to be there. And this is crowning your whole spread here. In this line, right here. It's asking for you to have the inner strength to get out of your head and hear the call. Change. Change your thought process. Get out of your head. It's exhausting being there. Now in the past, you have the King of Swords. And he's upright, so he's in his own. Very, very smart person. Smart man. Clear on his communications. Clear on his thoughts. Clearly not an emotional man. Means what he says, says what he means. And because he's not an emotional person and stuff, a lot of times that he's pretty brash with what he says. Comes off really harsh. But it's the truth. Nonetheless. And going into your future, going right across, is the Queen of Wands. She's in the upright and she is damn sexy. She's creative. She's action. You want something done, you get her to do it. She'll get it done. She doesn't stop until it's done. They are very seductive. They're sexy. They're passionate. They are so creative. And when I look, in some cases, not for all Capricorns, just saying the obvious, that you get the King of Swords, then you get the Death of this Transformation, and then you have the King of Wands. It's almost like somebody is having a sex change. For some. Just saying. That King of Swords is looking right at this Queen of Wands. And Death in the middle. Transformation. Now, if we took the properties of the cards and just think that you need the strength to rise from the ashes, transform whatever is stuck in your head and get clarity. Because this guy's about clarity, he's about truth.
Then you can go on once you're out of your head. Make this transformation and you can be this person. Now, as people see you, yourself, it is the Nine of Cups. Looks like this guy has uh, graduated. From page to night. They're both going in the same direction. Now he comes at a steady pace. People look at you as maybe you wear your heart in your sleeve. But more so, you like this. Every once in a while, a soft spot does come. Again, it's a message. It's an emotional message. Now, in your environment, you have the four cups upright. And normally, in the right of way, that here's this young kid. Sitting there and look at three cups, and the fourth cup comes on a cloud, and he, he's so fixated on the three cups, he doesn't even see the other one. But in this picture, he sees it quite clear. Wishing for it. Wanting it. It's like in this picture, he doesn't even care about the other three cups wants more than what he has. And I think you might as well just be uh, thankful for your three cups, Capricorn, because the next one is the three of cups. <laughs> Small joke. Um, this is rejoicing. This is celebrating. Birthday parties, just hanging out with some friends one night. And that's in your hopes and fears. Hopes and fears of partying? Maybe you're hoping for a reason to celebrate. Hoping for something that gets you out of the house. Something out of the regular routine. It seems to me, Capricorn, that you're going to get it because you have a message coming to you, maybe this is the invite that you're thinking, it's going to break me out of the norm. I need this. I need to go party my ass off. I need to cut loose with some friends. Whatever gets me out of my head keeps these thoughts Keeps me caged. Because your outcome is the Knight of Pentacles. Two knights. And he's a slow knight. He's the slowest knight. Okay, he's an earth sign. 
And what he brings is a message of something valuable, something tangible, something you could see, hear, touch, feel. Now, I always thought the pedicles were money, but pedicles could be anything that has value or worth to you. Like if you've had this teddy bear since you were two years old, and now you're 42, <laughs> that bear has some sort of value to you, sentimental value. That's what I mean by a pentacle. Um, and this is your outcome. I am going to elaborate on that. Because I can understand you hearing the call to make a change. Change these thoughts that keep you chained up. Get the clarity. Truth. Truth of the matter. So you can transform. So you can change and get back that creativeness that you have, Capricorn. So you can have that creativity and take that action. Maybe you do need to cut loose. It looks like you are going to be invited. You're going to get an invite to do something maybe out of the norm. Hang out with some new people. Or just get out. Celebrate something. Celebrate getting out. Because maybe if you meet these new people, you do something that's different. And you mingle, and you meet, and you talk. That potentially, there could be something good out of it coming your way. Something valuable. Maybe you get some valuable information. Maybe you get a valuable hookup. A valuable way to make a job, a job opportunity to make money. But you got to get out of your head, Capricorn. You can change things around. I think you've already heard the call. And I think you are this person. A very creative, passionate, you know, attractive person. And maybe you need to let other people see it. To get those opportunities. Meet new people. Find what's out there. Because I think it's calling you. I really do. So Capricorn, I really don't think I have to um, elaborate on any of these because I think it's pretty cut and dry. Make the change, Capricorn. Get out of your head. Get some clarity. Be that person. Have fun doing it. All right. Please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I will be making um, more videos in February. And if you'd like a personal reason with me, um, the all the information will be in the box down below. So take care. Bye.